In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best man and zone beaters in the gun bunch out of the Washington playbook that you can find in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. Also, if you wanna learn how I run the bunch offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. And today we're taking a look at the Washington playbook. Now I have a full eBook on Washington. I think Washington is a very, very valuable playbook because it combines bunch tight and bunch open tight end, which are three really hard formations to defend and actually this empty bunch i think is a lot better than most people think uh that that it is with that in mind we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite 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 plays right now and that is bunch trail and the reason why uh washington i think is so powerful is not just because it has clear out even though that is definitely one of the main reasons why you want to be in this playbook but it's gun tight is the second best gun tight in the game uh, or maybe third, depending on how you feel about the Saints tight. Um, but I personally think Detroit's the best tight. Then it goes Washington, and then it goes Saints. Uh, but then also, you have Bunch Trail and a really, really powerful bunch. It has Bunch Trail, it has Verts, it has Flood. Uh, Flood is super powerful. It has Bench Pivot, which is one of the most important plays for the current meta. We talk about that in our Washington ebook as to why this is a really critical route that right now uh, for the current meta defensively. Mesh Spot is one of those plays that's literally good every year, and people are starting to learn how to throw wheel routes against man coverage, so check out Patreon out for that as well. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. Bunch Trail, this play will be every coverage in the game. All right, so like I said, we're going to be going over Bunch Trail today, and we're going to be taking a look at this um, specifically against the base aligned dollar meta because that is definitely the meta defense right now. Just a base aligned and press dollar, sending five or sending four um, is really, really difficult. Now, what makes this so good is the fact that this trail route actually does some things that people don't necessarily know about, and then also this backside, uh, we can do a lot of stuff with this. So the setup for this is really simple. Uh, we're going to drag our... Um, our outside bunch receiver, we're gonna motion him across. Now, you can leave it like this if you want, or you can go ahead and block your running back, of course. Uh, but what you'll see, and I'll show you what we're gonna do to the left side in just a second. Um, and what you'll see happen though, is if it's zone, this corner route to the right side is super, super good. Um, it's super good against zone, super good against man. And if it's specifically the dollar DB fire two, um, and they're actually playing cover two, this is really good because um, not only are we going to be able, not only are we going to be able to attack the baseline press DB fire, um, but if we get enough time, we have a chance at a one play score. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up this blitz. And what you're going to see again with that drag is this backside post, especially now that we have you know really good uh, receivers and faster receivers. If we have time, you saw right there that post was coming open over the middle of the field. So there's definitely some value to the post route if your opponent is running a lot of cover too. Now you might be thinking to yourself, as you know I would be, what if they don't run cover two, right? What if they run a lot of man, or what if they run a lot of uh, you know cover three to try to stop C routes and stuff? Well, we're gonna get to that here in just a second. Now that post, I need to wait on it just a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna show this to you one more time because I do want to show you that this is a touchdown. Um, against cover two if you can get the time uh, in the pocket now notice that I am actually able to pick up dollar if you want to learn more about pass protection in Madden uh, and how to pick up some of these meta defenses make sure that you join uh, the patreon it's got everything in there it, we every ebook we have has a section on pass protection now um, and you see that how valuable that is it's the difference between a touchdown and an interception if you have time to throw the ball so um, now what if they're not what if they're really adjusting right what if you're playing somebody who really is adjusting their defense out of this. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see some variation of potentially something like this, where we're gonna do some cross manning, um, you know, we're gonna do you know some stuff. So we're gonna do some different adjustments. And uh, again, you're gonna see you know just different things that, that people are going to do uh, to try to slow you down. And typically they're gonna use or the running back, okay? It's one of the things. So if I was to run the same setup where I have this post and I'm blocking everybody right, now all of a sudden it's not as effective. Now the corner route is still really good against man. It's really one of the primary reasons we call this is because against man coverage we have the corner route, the trail route, and the drag are all really good man beaters. However, what if they are running some type of cover three? So um, again, this is like a baseline and pressed uh, cover three 
And then let's say that they just, let's say that they're playing more coverage, right? So if they're playing like a cover three coverage, you know, maybe over here on this side, they're going to man this guy up just in case uh, to try to help with C routes or whatever that they might think we're doing. Um, then what you're going to notice is this play is not going to be as open, and you're going to see for a couple reasons. Um, the biggest reason is just thirds this year are pretty decent. Um, now, as you can see there, I might be able to hit that trail, trail route late, but if they use that, then you know it's going to be difficult to hit that. So we want to have some stuff in our arsenal for when they go to those adjustments, when they start to run um, you know, potentially some cover three. Uh, we want to have something for them, right? So uh, what we're going to do is basically this. If they're going to run some cover three, like I said, typically what you're going to see with this is you're going to get a hard flat from that bunch side corner. They might go ahead and blitz that left side guy, just you know, probably will, but we'll show you this so we can actually show you the routes and the progression of the routes. But let's say, for example, you know, this guy's going to be kind of a robber defender over the middle. Maybe they cross me and him on the tight end. It's actually a really common adjustment this year. Okay. If all that is true, then what we can do, um, because we are on the short side, or the, because our bunch here is to the left, what we can do is we can actually streak or wheel our running back. Now, I like the running back streak. You can try the running back wheel as well, um, but either one of these. By wheeling this running back, when they go to more of a coverage look, it's going to pull the third, and you can throw that with an outside pass lead. Now, I'm personally using classic passing. I do want to show you that it's a little bit more open when I'm on the right hash mark. Um, I'm personally using classic passing, and I still am able to put that ball where only my receiver can catch it. So I'm sure that you'll be able to do that as well. Again, just basically you're passing it outside to the outside. Now you could, if you want to, um, motion block circle and block that slot corner if that's something that you want to try. Um, you could certainly do that. Let's say they're giving you a blitz look then you know maybe we go ahead and say, okay, well, we're just going to motion block this guy. Instead of putting him on a drag, we're just going to motion block him. Watch the wheel route, though. You'll see it's going to have a lot more room to work, and we're able to hit this consistently against cover three. So when they're outside 30 to stop the C route, all you have to do is put a wheel route on the field. Um, just by simply, simply putting a wheel route out there, it does a really good job. I'll show you uh, just a little bit more on this. Um, let's say, for example, again, we want to try to pick up some pressure. Um, maybe we just simply motion snap him here, and now we block him over here, right? Um, and what you see is same kind of thing. The wheel pulls the third, and we're able to hit that consistently against the cover three coverage. This play is super effective for a lot of different reasons. One of them, though, is that that corner right on the right is able to beat man consistently. When you pair that with a C route and a wheel, um, you start to find that you can actually have a play that can beat everything the defense can do and you could streak circle on the short side if you wanted to try to flood both sidelines uh you certainly could do that as well but this trail route is so good as well as a little pressure release so anyways that's some of the things that i like to do out of bunch trail there's a ton more that we cover in the ebook including a one play touchdown against cover two cover three that's different than the setup that you're seeing right here if you want to check out our entire washington offensive ebook make sure you join our patreon it's only ten dollars to become a member it gets you access literally by being a member you get access to over 20 ebooks 20 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as updates to the ebooks and new ebooks we release pretty much every week something new uh for our patreon members something so either a new ebook or an update to an ebook or kind of a an ability setup or something to you guys so you guys are been flooded with content so if you want to learn the game i would really encourage you to dive deep into the patreon there's a ton of stuff in there that will help you get better at madden thanks for watching the video i hope to see you guys over at the patreon if you want to sign up head down to the description below and click the link down in the description